uh, social media has been a game changer on that front, I think, Helen. Um, there's a lot of things that some of us used to do <laughs> that um, uh, a lot of people are doing now. Um, I used to make posts all the time before uh, before the internet came along. So I've, I've got you know, all my old writings back before the internet was invented. You know, I've got a post about when Princess Diana died. Um, and that sort of stuff, you know. And now everybody does it, so it's gone mainstream. But name changing and aliasing and all that sort of thing, well, that used to be, well, authors, you know, pseudonyms and all that sort of stuff, and rock stars and things like that. Um, and, you know, it was a bit weird if anyone else did it. Um, but um, nowadays, I think heaps of people have fake names on social media and social media has kind of driven that and um, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of those people have started to identify with the names they've created um, yeah, and um, it's very very normal it's gone mainstream um, I think um, so stuff you know that maybe only uh, David Bowie's and Elton John's of this world used to do everybody's doing it and um, yeah mainly probably at the start because because they want anonymity and all that sort of stuff on online but I'll bet you that you know it's kind of um, addictive I'll bet you lots of people are growing into those names um, I've got one Charlie Thrippo and I've got other ones too lots of them um, I've got about four or five different anagrams of my own name uh, Diana Remney and all this sort of stuff, you know, which is Damien Ryan with all the letters switched around. I've got quite a few of um, anagrams and uh, the sporty Mufti, who's a funny sort of guy. But it's gone mainstream. Uh, this, a lot of things that used to be kind of strange things to do, uh, kind of normal things to do now. And um, you'll find, you know, I know quite a few people who have a whole other identity along with their phones moving along their dashboards um, and falling over. <laughs>